the sun right where I left it. <sighs> Are you thinking about using that big burning star for electricity? Well, you're not alone. Most homeowners are interested in learning more about solar. It can cut your power bills, add value to your home, and save the planet in the process. And I get it. The thought of installing and paying for solar panels can seem costly and daunting. But you just have to know where to start. Well, you can start right here. I'm Gabe Bolt, here to show you the small shifts that you can make in your life that will lead to a huge impact in your financial future. This is Big Change. So here's a quick lesson on the science of solar. Bear with me, I pulled some amazing stock footage for this. For starters, there are two types of solar panels that homeowners need to know about, monocrystalline and polycrystalline. There is a bunch of physics going on behind the scenes here to generate power that I don't understand and you don't really need to know about. But the main thing is that mono panels are more expensive, but also more efficient, and poly panels are cheaper, but also less efficient. Once you've decided mono or poly, it's time to consider configuration. Solar arrays can be set up a few different ways. The simplest is a grid tied system, panels connected directly to your utility company's power grid. You only pay for the electricity you use after what you steal from the sun. An even bigger bonus of going solar, in some parts of the country, you can get paid by your utility company for your solar energy. It may not be much, but hey, it's something. So the second option, if you wanna be completely self-reliant, is an off-grid system. So there's two things to remember with this one. The first is that since you're off the grid, you can't sell your excess power back to the utility company. Secondly, you want to get a battery bank to store all that excess energy that you collect for nighttime or cloudy days or things like that. There are a few things that you'll wanna think through before you just start throwing panels on your roof. Number one, how long do you plan to be in the house? The longer, the better. This is a long-term investment and it might take years to recoup. Number two, consider your location. Like how many sunny days are there in your area per year? That's kind of a requirement. Number three, space. You'll need surface area and constant exposure to catch the most rays. So a big backyard or a self-facing roof is gonna be key. Number four, your power usage. You can do some quick math by dividing your kilowatt hour usage per year by 250 to get an estimate on how many panels you'll need to keep the lights on. So what about cost? For an average house, your installation may range from fifteen dollars to $25,000 or more. And while that may sound like a lot up front, it's possible to get loans for home investments. And that's before tax incentives for installation, so be sure to see what your local area offers. In most cases, homeowners save between $600 and $800 a year by going solar, paying off the system in seven to eight years with a return on investment of around 20% or more. And that's about double of what the stock market has been in the past hundred years. And if you ever do sell your home, the average sales boost from the average solar panel installation is about $15,000. So it's good for the planet and great for your pocketbook. Again, your price of installation will vary based on the number of solar panels you need, your local climate, and a bunch of other factors. Once you get a handle on how much your installation is going to cost, you may need a loan to help finance your project. You can read up on personal loan basics at Rocket Loans. And of course, call up a local contractor to see what's a possibility in your area. They'll be happy to teach you everything you need to know about solar electricity. Sunglasses not included. 